Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back for this lovely Wednesday on the 2nd of, I mean, the 27th of February. How's it doing? Good to see you, Neil. Good to everyone. All right, guys. So hopefully, uh, my God, what the hell happened with Weight Watchers? <laughs> you know, it's so funny. We were trading that stock like last year, and we'll talk a little bit about it with Oprah, with the buyout, this and that. But before we get started, um, just want to let you guys know that um, I will be hosting a big event uh, I'll be joining American Heroes for the anti-violence uh, in intervention that's coming up this Saturday. I don't know if you guys are in the Jersey area, but um, you know, here at Cybertrain University, we do do some charity work and try to always help people uh, with, uh, you know, help the younger age people, you know, to kind of you know understand financial markets and everything. But a lot of great people are going to be there. You can see Clinton Portis, Ray Lewis going to be there. So. Um, you know, this is going to be presented. Look, the mayor of New Jersey is going to be there. A bunch of great people there. So um, once again, just feel free. We'll we'll try to uh, doing some events more online for someone for some of these people. We'll be doing. We're getting a lot more involved in more charity work. You know, you know, it's a shame is that there's so many people in this world that, especially a younger generation of people, just don't realize that how important uh, you know uh, finance is. Some of them don't even know what compound interest is. Some some of them don't even know, you know, how students uh, loans work. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, and I, as much as I'm here, we're educating you guys how to trade the market, which, you know, unfortunately, some of us had to learn the hard way. Uh, there are just so many. A new generation needs to really understand what's going on. So, uh, you know, definitely, you know, like I said, we'll let you guys know. We're going to be doing a couple of webinars and, you know, feel free to. We'll send a bulk email on it, register for it, and uh, we'll, uh, you know, like I said, we'll let you know future upcoming events. All right. In the meantime, guys, let's go over some of the watch list regarding about some of the crazy stocks that are going on. Thank you very much, Jason. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate that. Thanks. Well, you know what? I believe you got to give a little bit back to everybody, you know. I feel that, you know, God takes care of people, you know, who take care of everybody else. So it uh, doesn't hurt to give back a little bit, you know. In the meantime, uh, let's go through the watch list. A lot of good stocks. Uh, what is the watch list, uh, Cherry? We didn't get – hold on. Hold on. We didn't get there yet. Let's just uh, let's just focus on what's moving. Uh, first of all, I just want to talk a little bit about Weight Watchers. Look at this chart. Okay, so some of you remember the stock, traded the stock. There was a big news that came out with Weight Watchers. Actually, I think I have to go back a little bit further. Uh, yeah, here we go. So some of you remember the stock back in 15, uh, and there was that big rumor of wait, what, Oprah made a big investment in the stock. The stock took off, and we watched this stock hover right around $18. And, um, and you could see the stock just literally, I don't know where the hell this came from, but it just went to about 110 from nowhere in less than two years. Even like in, back in 18, it went from 40 all the way to 110. The stock is getting decimated guys destroyed all right guess what there's still room for it to go down uh right now we're hovering right around here we're probably gonna be testing these highs right here you know maybe even more than that but there is plenty of room out there the stock can go lower um you know what i thought it was a good company i mean i never went there but uh they were doing great but that is one hell of a catastrophe guys Anyway, 70% uh, given back. Really excited to hear about it, Fausto. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, I'm short. Um, I'm short with uh, Weight Watchers. Well, Ken's. You know what, Ken? I mean, listen. I would just be very careful right now, Ken, because we're at really at some support levels right here, and a little concern about that. So just keep it. Be very careful regarding about uh, this stock that. Uh, you know, let's see if it holds here. But remember, you can't go broke uh, taking profits. All right. Regarding about uh, what what actually moved yesterday, guys, Nino, that one was phenomenal. We did great on that trade right there. Let me just fix the time frame so you could see what happened yesterday. We traded this in the phase three class, and uh, this stock was just a really fun stock. It just literally just broke higher highs. Just a great stock right at the gate, 880, all the way to 1060. She's kind of holding here pretty good. You know, obviously, we all know what's going on with China. All the China stocks are doing pretty well. Uh, regarding about we might uh, looks like President Trump probably is going to somehow shockingly take care of this tar this this uh, trade war that we've been trying to fight with them for all these years. And, uh, you know, 
shockingly, you know, he might be able to pull it off. So, you know, regardless of everything else we hear. So anyway, the China stocks are obviously doing pretty well. Remember, we, at the end of the day, they need us more than we need them. I think everybody needs the United States more. You know what? Not not to be, you know, uh, you know, brag of this and that. But remember, we're just a very big consumption of buyers. You know, we spend money. OK, um, I have family members in Italy and this and that. Trust me, these people are very, very uh, they don't they, you know, I'm not saying they're cheap, but they listen when you figure out how to take some spoiled milk. OK, that was good for the garbage and make it to one of the greatest cheeses in the world, mozzarella. You know, obviously, you know, they don't throw anything out. They know how to say they really know how to stretch a dollar. So, um, you know, and they have geniuses for that. But anyway. They don't, you know, America is a big, a big, a big consumption company, a big consumption country. So uh, that's why a lot of people want to do business with us. Anyway, a couple of the stocks did pretty well too. Um, the Solo was another one that did really well yesterday. Pop went from four to four ninety. I mean three ninety, four ninety, and then the BL, the the BLNK was another big winner yesterday. I kind of like it too going into this morning. Um, I do have it on my watch list. BLNK. Now, uh, keep a close eye on it because, like I said, this stock got destroyed. When you go back all the way down to 2014, this was a $100 stock. Um, it took a big hit from 36 not too long ago, at the beginning of this year. Let me just fix my chart right here. So you can see the stock, you know, maybe it's making a little bit of a comeback. So I definitely want to keep that on our watch list. All right. Now, what's going on this morning? Because I do want to get ready for all of us getting ready for the phase three class because we got a lot of stocks on this list. Obviously, you know, Weight Watchers on that watch list. So um, look for a dead cat bounce, guys. I mean, that is a huge, huge crash. Stock had a little bit of a bounce yesterday you know, in after hours. Let me just bring that up. You could see it did have a little bounce after hours. Went to 19. We're about 21. You know, after those, I guess that was earnings announcements. That's what it looks like. Uh, but that one, I would keep an eye on the dead cap bounce. So regarding about who's short, including you can be very careful of that. All right. But I don't need to tell you that. You're, you you know what you're doing. Anyway, this stock, GEVO, everybody remembers this stock. We traded this stock in one day, went from five, went all the way to almost $30. Once again, day trading at its best. You know, it's on the watch list because I know we know it did in the past. So we know what it could probably do in the future. Most important thing, check your journals, what we taught you in class. Go back, whoever was here, who's trading with CTU, see what you wrote on your journals, see how you traded it, see how it goes. Was it tradable? What level stock it was? Did you make money? Did you lose money? How did everybody do? These are all the things that you learn in class. So make sure you go back to it because I always tell you, you're going to be trading the stock again. Don't think this is a, a one and done stock. Um, remember, you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life, and these stocks always somehow come from nowhere and do the same thing. Another one looks pretty good is the FTR. This one got, it looks like it's building a little bit of a Fausto flag, up 13%, 126,000 shares. It's got some pretty decent iceberg orders out there uh, when you look over here on the matrix. So that one looks pretty good. I like what it did after hours. Look for the resistance levels. That was – that I actually got a little star next to it. BIOC, that one's going back on the watch list also. The only thing I – really concerned about the stock had a nice little push she's starting to back off over here she's breaking lower lows let's just hope if she holds here this could be a good move right here already traded you know almost 800,000 shares and if you look at the long-term chart the stock actually had a really nice push we traded the stock before we know how he trades it from I remember it was actually a fun stock and it was a little bit how I think if I remember kind of trade like a short squeeze I thought this one was going to be pretty good it looks like it's probably dead right now so I might scratch this one out let me take that one off. Not too crazy about it. Watt is another one getting destroyed also. The stock um, coming close to some support levels right here on the long-term chart. The, you, you got a little more orders out here. You got a 2,600 share seller, 900. I'm not seeing any big buyers. 25, 20? Come on. That's pretty bad. So, I don't know. This could probably still be one uh, stock on your short. This stock obviously also made my watch list as one I liked a lot. Break all-time highs. SE, we all know when you break all-time highs, where's the resistance levels? <laughs> there isn't any when you break through the ceiling. This one is looking pretty good. C is looking good. SE, that one uh, is one of, my, uh, one, of my, uh, one of my top ones on the list. And then, listen, the news is obviously this company beat earnings last night. Uh, you know, Best Buy. I hate Best Buy. I'm not a fan of Best Buy. I would never buy anything at Best Buy. I'm a Costco guy. 
doesn't mean I still won't trade Best Buy. Okay, I'm not going to hold it against it. I can make money with it. I'll trade it. Only thing I have recommend recommend to you is to be very, very careful regarding about uh, the stock. It is kind of the envi uh, volatile uh, the volatile markets. All right. So there's your watch list guys. And, uh, for all the students that are, are phase three, you know, gold and platinum students, I'll see you in a new room. We'll be jumping in there. We're going to be trading these stocks. Um, for some of you want to know more about it. If you're a new trial member, make sure you talk to the education advisor and hopefully all you new trial members that are here are enjoying it. And if you're watching us on YouTube, you know, feel free to, you know, register for one of our trials and see what it's like to trade all day. And don't forget guys, um, just really quick. Remember this weekend I will be doing, uh, uh, join me at the American Heroes Anti-Violence. Oops, someone changed that. And uh, you can register on our site. I'll send a link on that. And then also, here's upcoming events Thursday. Why does it keep changing? Someone keeps touching this thing. All right. And then you have all these events, timing research. We have an event uh, Monday, March 4th. And then Tuesday, March 12th, we have the new Cyber Expo with a bunch of all new of the top traders um, in the industry, trading experts for a three-hour online video. All right, uh, online uh, live webinar. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. If I don't, like I said, if I don't see you in the trading room, in, in class, don't go anywhere. We'll see you here in the trading room. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.